Good evening, everybody. It is 8-17, Friday, July 29th. <clears throat> I want to share um, just a few words from the Lord, what's written here. It says, listen to wisdom and Proverbs here, okay? I'm going to start off at uh, 22. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and you refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But you have set at naught all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me. But I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkens unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. That was verse 33. Okay, that was Proverbs 1, verse 33. But who hearkens unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. We're in the day of evil, you guys, and it's just going to increase Okay, it's going to increase. You can be sure of it. It will increase. You know, here's uh, 3 verses 5 through uh, 7. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not into thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord, and depart from evil. Have nothing to do with it, you guys. You know, we spent a lot of time trying to warn people, telling them, you know, it's wrong, you know, to be living the way they're living, but they were given reprobated minds to go through what they're going to be what they're going through now and it's just going to increase we're going to see this you guys here's a uh, you know when i said three five through seven all of this i mean it's like let me go on here's eight um it shall not be health it it shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones honor the lord with all thy substance and with the first fruits of all thy increase so shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. My son, despise not chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father, the son in whom he delighteth. Happy is a man that findeth wisdom, and that man getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver and the gain thereof of fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto it. Length of days in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are the way of plentiness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her. And happy is every one that retaineth her. The Lord by wisdom has founded the earth, and understanding has he established the heavens. 
By his knowledge, the depths are broken up and the clouds drop down the dew. My son, let not them depart from thy eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. So shall thy be life unto thy soul and grace to thy neck. Then shalt thou walk in the way safely and thy foot shall not stumble. When thou layest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. And you can be sure, you guys, this is going to happen. You know, you're going to see the destruction of these people, because they don't regard him at all. For the Lord shall be thy confidence, and shall keep thy foot from being taken. Withhold not good from them whom it is due, when it is in the power of thy hand to do it. Yeah, you guys, we're we're at the. Uh, we're going to be witnessing a lot of things, you know. Right now, we're having a lot of problems with the internet. I guess Verizon phones, everything. It's like, you know, sometimes I think it's what's in our solar system now. What's coming upon us? What they've been hiding in the sky. Most people don't believe it, but it's there. It's there. They've been spraying these uh, chemtrails for quite some time now, years actually, and they've been they've been hiding everything. That's that's fine, you know, because like I said, many of us have had the same dreams where planets are in our solar system. The Lord's revealed a lot of things to me, man, a lot, and. Uh, they told me, I don't know, it was quite a few months ago, I was six months ago or something, that they had different work for me to do, which, you know, I don't know what it is yet, but I'm sure the Lord in His time, He'll do something. Now, here in uh, Jeremiah, chapter 51, 20 through 23, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms, and with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider, and with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman, and with thee will I break in pieces old and young, and with thee will I break in pieces the young and the maid. I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock, and with thee I will break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen, and with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers. <coughs> and I will render into Babylon and to all the inhabitants all their evil that they have done, in Zion, in your sight, saith the Lord. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, saith the Lord, which destroyeth all the earth. And I will stretch out my hand upon thee, and roll thee down from the rocks, and will make thee a burnt mountain. And they shall not take of thee a stone for a corner, nor a stone for a foundation. But thou shalt be desolate forever, saith the Lord. You know, yeah, they're finished here, you guys. Make sure you know this, okay? They're definitely finished here. The time has come, and uh, we know. Have no sudden fear, you guys. Just know this, that God is in control. He created evil for the day of evil. And this is it. Their time's up. They're going to be experiencing more and more wickedness. And... Uh, they're going to be driven. They're going to be driven. We're going to see it. We'll see it with the madness that's going to be increasing in them. Their anger, their own, you know, like it says, evil begets evil. They're going to be going against each other, destroying each other. Um, it's going to be, it's the curse that's upon them. God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ.